How's it going everybody? Crazy here and I'm back again with another reaction and then recently I did a reaction video to mm, 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 by the crash test dummies and so why not do the parody of mm, 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 Weird Al Yankovic with his song Headline News. Now back in the day I'm sure that Weird Al had a difficult time trying to get parodies and stuff like that with these songs and stuff. Um, even though it's actually technically fair use law, doing a parody or a cover of a song is considered fair use. Um, and, and back in the day when he first started, it was probably difficult to do it. But nowadays, if Weird Al Yankovic calls you up and asks you to do a parody of the of one of their of one of your songs, it's now considered a badge of honor. Like if you're in the music industry and Weird Al wants to do a parody. It is a stamp of approval from Weird Al that you belong in the mainstream. And even though Weird Al does technically have the rights to parody whatever the fuck he wants, uh, with or without any uh, permission from the, from the artist themselves or the publisher that holds the rights to their music, he still is kind enough to ask for permission uh, to do the parody and put it on his albums uh, he still does that to this day. And even though there are some songs that he's actually been turned down on, like Prince turned down every time that he wanted to do a parody of a Prince song. Um, Celine Dion has actually also uh, turned down uh, when he wanted to do a parody of My Heart Will Go On uh, by Celine Dion, which was a big song during the when the movie Titanic came out. Uh, but he'll still do the parody during live shows. Uh, the, uh, there are certain songs that he has never recorded, but has written that the band knows how to play that they will only do during live shows. Uh, so with that being said, let's watch the parody video. Already a difference. There's a midget and a Jew. And Weird Al with a guitar in his hand. Those are three things that are actually already fucking weird about this music video. And we're only 10 seconds in. Once there was this kid who took what the hell? Okay, let's was this try this again. Who took a trip to Singapore and brought along his spray paint <laughs> finally came back he had cane marks all over his bottom now <laughs> that's funny actually because this was something that actually happened and it's interesting that weird al brought this up because i guess in a way like at the time like this was a very topical conversation because this actually happened so this had to have been a big event during that time for Weird Al to put this in the song. <clears throat> and, and this guy got mocked, <laughs> mocked hardcore for this shit. Uh, I've even seen people in Mad T, you know, in Mad Magazine actually parodied this kind of stuff, made comic strips about the dude getting caned. And the whole comic strip was about how to cane somebody. It, you know, like as a caner in Japan or China or wherever the fuck he was. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> he said that it was from when the warden whacked it so hard. Mm -hmm. And this is a form of capital punishment in China. <laughs> Like, okay, so this is Tanya Harding, I think is what it is. This is the story about Tanya Harding. Now, also, if you noticed, like, during the uh, chorus, like, they didn't change the chorus of mm, 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 mm. Instead, like, you saw Weird Al, and he's actually, mm, you know, as he's humming. It's kind of funny. 
like just like little th- little changes like that is actually kind of comical for Weird Al. She finally made it. She saw some other girl who was better. <laughs> And this is something that actually happened. Oh, look, there's Elvis, Velvet Elvis in the background there. And yeah, so this was something that definitely happened. I'm sure you guys remember that. If uh, you remember Weird Al from back in the day, these events all happened around the same time. <laughs> Using a voodoo doll. <laughs> Okay, look at Weird Al. Now he's got a tape, you know, electrical tape over his mouth as he's humming. <laughs> That's got to hurt the mustache, though. Yeah, there they are having a cat fight. <laughs> Dummy. Ouch, my butt. <laughs> a true story. <laughs> Why me? And then oh, there was yeah. this guy who Story made time, his wife so mad one night that she cut off his wiener and when John Bobbitt. He finally came to. He found that Mr. Happy was missing. <laughs> <laughs> all the dudes in the crowd are just like what the fuck yeah cause yeah cause we can kind of sort of feel John Bobbitt's pain but the but the story behind that obviously though was like I guess uh, John Bobbitt was cheating on Lorena Bobbitt and this was another thing like actually all three of these events happened around the same time and all also ended up being in the exact same mad magazine that I read the caning thing, um, the Tanya Hardy, Hart, yeah, the Tanya Harding thing, and the the fucking um, and the fucking Lorena Bobbitt thing, like they had like a parody of Dick Tracy, and at some point Lorena Bobbitt was in it for some reason, Lorraine, and Dick Tracy was like, I'm out of here. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. He couldn't quite explain it. It'd always just be. <laughs> He's like looking everywhere for it. <laughs> Hot dogs. <laughs> uh. now, so, this is interesting. Like, anytime that you hear like fart noises in early Weird Al works, it's this guy. Like, this guy actually, I believe, had a championship thing for making noise with his hands so he can make fart noises with his hands. He has the capability to move his hands around to make those different sounds, those different pitches of fart noises with his hands. So that's actually recorded it uh, by that dude with his hands. It's not like an effect or anything like that, but the burps on the other hand, I think are. <laughs> it wouldn't be weird out without an accordion solo. And there's Dr. Demento right there. Like, Dr. Demento is actually the reason why Weird Al had a career in the first place. It was the first radio station that played anything from Weird Al. And Dr. Demento and Weird Al have been friends ever since because of that. If you didn't watch, you know, weird, you know, the Al Yankovic movie. Which is all true, by the way. So, a weird way to end the music video as well, too. But that's Weird Al for you. 
So kind of almost shot for shot with the music video parody. And you know, like you have to watch the music video for before you watch this music video in order to understand why it looks the way that it looks. And then <clears throat> knowing the events of what happened during that time, which thanks to weird Al and themselves also trying to basically, you know, those will live on in the memories of people for ages, you know, and it's just a weird time with weird events that happen like that. Haven't heard of anybody getting their, uh, their fucking junk cut off about, you know, ever since, but seriously, how, how, how do you not know? How do you fall asleep and not know? Were you that drunk or on something at that time? Questions that may never be answered. I don't know. I'm not the guy to answer those questions, but I'm going to get up out of here. Thank you guys for watching this with me. If you want to watch this on your own link in the description below, like, and share this video, subscribe. If you haven't done that already, check out my merch store. Should be uh, somewhere in this general area. If not, check my channel. It's in the stores in there as well. And if you're feeling generous, it's not recommended. It's not necessary, but it is appreciated. Nevertheless, shoot me a super thanks. And with that being said, I'm crazy. That was my reaction. I'm getting up out of here. You guys have a good one. Deuces.